Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the fifth Excel VBA tutorial and today's topic is going to be uh, a real basic introduction to um, editing and creating some uh, VBA code. <clears throat> and with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, developer tab over here. I'm going to launch the uh, Visual Basic and I know part of this you won't be able to see on the screen. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to uh, go in here and we're going to record a macro and let's call this um, we'll leave it and call it macro 2 we'll just set it for this workbook rather than a personal workbook and what I'm going to do let's just go ahead and click here in this cell let's do um, let's put the value 10 and then uh, let's set a value of 5 for that cell and then let's do equals sum and then just add these up and then uh, let's see I'll make this bold also so I'll go back to this home page click bold and I'm going to go down here to the bottom left and stop recording the macro and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the VBA piece of the puzzle here and I'm going to go into modules and I am going to double click module 1 and there's the code that we just created so we went in here uh, we called it macro 2 um, and then it went in here and did these different elements, right? It went into range B2, select. What did it do? It put a value of 10 there. For B3, it put in a value of 5. And then it did the formula. And it set, uh, it set the font to bold. Um, so we could type that all out. Um, and uh, sometimes this isn't the cleanest code um, through a macro, but it, but it does the job. And then what you can do, though, you could type all this... Um, from scratch you could set properties bold or italics or whatever um, but another thing I want to do here I want to go in here and I want to set a variable and I want to pop up window so what I'm going to do I'll call it total and so I'm creating a variable called total and what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to a worksheet which is this one and I'm going to call it sheet one And if you notice, that sheet 1 refers to this sheet 1. If this name has to match if that's where you want to pull the data from. Then uh, what we want to do is type in range and point to the cell that we want to point to. So with that said, um, we're going to go ahead and type in, and you know it's worksheet, sheet 1 dot range. And then the range that we want to put in is I just want to point to cell B4 to pull that total and I'm going to close parentheses then I'm going to return a, whoop. sorry about that I did it I had an error there of some sort um, here's what I missed right see that I missed the um, closing the uh, parentheses there and then I'm going to go over here and I am going to um, put a message box up and so what this will do so it's MSG box and then I just put in um, what I want to type out. The total value is, and then put space, and then close the quote. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to um, recall that variable. And that variable name again is, I'm going to do ampersand, and then I'm going to do the variable name. Okay, so that's total. And now to run that, what I want to do is have a message box that, that pops up and says the total value is and then point to cell B4 which is right here. Okay, so how to run it, I click the um, run button right there and I run macro 2 and there it is. It pops it up, the total value is 15. A couple quick things I want to point out is one of the things that you could do here like for troubleshooting is just make sure what you put in here matches up what you're trying to do. So if I put here, if I change this name, for example, to sheet 11, and I go over here and I run the same, I run that um, same macro, you see what happens, subscript out of range, I could go into debug and it points out the line. Now I need to go in here and try to figure out what's going on here. And now I can see, you know, I could check these things and see, okay, sheet one's not valid. So I'm gonna go back here and fix that or I change my code to be sheet 11 either or. So I'm going to go back in here and now I'm going to run it again and there it is, total value is 15. Alright, so that's really basic but I just wanted to um, 
get going and do a, a real brief um, demo there. Take care and thanks for joining and uh, please subscribe.